Well, hello there. <laughs> so, I am sitting here writing out my grocery list for the week. And I wanted to show you guys that a great tip, ooh, that's going to make the lighting weird, but a great tip is to go onto Pinterest and create a board for yourself for low carb recipes. Keto recipes are great. Um, I do crock pot recipes, things of that nature to get some ideas so that you don't get bored with eating because, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're on a calorie deficient diet, you know, a lifestyle, not a diet, sometimes you feel like you're eating the same things over and over and over again and that's very understandable. So a great tool and tip is to go onto Pinterest and find some great recipes. It's more for ideas. You can tweak it, make them your own, but it'll give you ideas, things that you may not have normally thought of on your own or to use the things that you repeatedly buy over right over and over. So like right now, because we're in the fall season, I'm buying a lot of squash, you know, a lot of butternut squash, a lot of spaghetti squash, um, sweet potatoes, all that stuff. And I found some awesome recipes in here to do those in different ways that I would have never have thought of. And that is a big help in trying to make foods that you know you can eat and are good for you and to keep you in that calorie deficient lifestyle and still feel like you're getting something different, tasty and yummy. And it gives me ideas, like I'll give you an example, like I've been really hungry for pizza lately. And you know, crust is, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a pizza once in a while. But sometimes I get on these kicks where it's like, I just want pizza a lot. And I can get a pizza from Aldi's, I did show it to you before, where, um, the whole pizza is 350 calories. So if I eat three slices, you know, and this is like a little eight inch pizza. <laughs> this isn't like a pizza you get from the pizza parley. Um, it's about 150, 175 calories. And that's doable. You know what I mean? But if I really want that taste, like I was on here looking, they had beautiful tomatoes sliced covered in Parmesan cheese, a little Italian seasoning, and they put little pepperoni bites in it and you bake it in the oven. And you know, you're gonna get that nice pizza flavor, but you're not gonna get all those calories. And that would make a great side to something, you know, like some chicken or something of that nature, just for an example. So not to go on and on and on, but when you're sitting down to write out your grocery list, like I am right now, you know, because you can do all the hard work, you know, you can, you know, walk your miles, do your aerobics, join a gym, do all that stuff. But you, that, none of that will matter if you're not eating the right food. <laughs> really and truly, it has to be both parts. You have to eat the right food and you have to be physically moving. So you can't have one without the other. So I just encourage you for people who are really struggling with like, what do I eat? Um try Pinterest really and truly. There's some great recipes. You could put low carb recipes, keto recipes, deficient lifestyle recipes, a whole bunch of stuff will come up and it'll help you with some ideas. And then later in this video, I'm going to make the cauliflower recipe. It's supposed to be like hot wings. It's supposed to be like hot wings, but it's cauliflower and homemade ranch dressing with um, yogurt. I'm going to make that later today for my lunch. So I'll be sharing that recipe with you guys. And I actually got that recipe out of a magazine. So you'll be surprised where you can find some really good recipes to help with your food. But today we're just going to be hanging out. I'm going to take you throughout my day with me to show you what like a normal day with for me is like in this lifestyle, not a diet lifestyle. Um, right now it is pouring, pouring. It says it's supposed to clear up. I hope so because I really, really want to go on my walk, but I'm not walking in. I mean like it's pouring, not just like pour. So I'm waiting to see if it clears up. So my intentions today are to go for my walk. Um, I need to grocery shop. I want to make this new recipe. I need to go for my walk. I need to clean up my house. You know, just normal everyday things. But we're going to do it together. Today. All right, we're in the car. It is really cold and still a little ee, 
But I got the dog, and we're going to go for a walk. So this is just your encouragement that even when it's not nice, the sun isn't shining, and it's a little chilly, to so still get out there and do what you know what you need to do. And I have another non-scale victory to report, guys. I can actually zip up my jacket and tie the little ribbon in the front. I am so tickle pink, I can actually zip up my jacket and tie the little bow in the front. You have no idea. So let's go get this walk on before my dog has a fit. It is chilly willy <laughs> when the wind blows. It's making me think I'm definitely going to need earmuffs when I walk in the winter. Because <laughs> woo, my ears are cold. But we are doing it. We're walking. It looks like it's going to pour. I just hope it doesn't start to pour while I'm on the trail. <laughs> but we're walking. Just do it. Just do it. Even when the weather's crap and it's cold and all you want to do is sit in the house and curl up on the couch and watch a movie with your husband. Just do it. Otherwise, you'd miss this. Look at that. Just beautiful. 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 I love every minute. Might be tough, but I'm tougher. Just beautiful. <laughs> oh, and I want to tell you guys. <laughs> Yesterday I was at Five Below. Let me stop for a minute. Yesterday I was at Five Below and I saw this. Look at those are kicking dirt on me. I saw this. It's a bracelet that you hook your keys to. So when you go on walks or whatever you're doing, your keys are attached to you. I don't have to stick my keys in my bra anymore. <laughs> it's wonderful. I can put my keys on my wrist now. Because every time I would go for a walk, I'd put my keys in my bra. <laughs> I didn't know where else to put them. I had to hold the dog and my phone occasionally. This is wonderful. All right, back to it. friends I took the dog for a walk I dropped him off and now I'm Aldi's it's time to go grocery shopping and get some yummies for the week I have lots of good things that I planned out before I came here like I showed you earlier in the video from Pinterest some new recipes and I can't wait to share them with you in some new upcoming videos so let's go get this stuff <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Groceries are in the back. They had the heat on in there. I was getting hot with my jacket. And after a two mile walk and then grocery shopping, I need a snack. So I picked up these. Gluten free apple chips, original. They had cinnamon. And they are uh 360 360 dollars 360 calories for the whole bag or 140 for about 20 chips oh 12 chips so i'm gonna snack on these i won't eat the whole bag but i'm gonna snack on these on my way home it's starting to rain so i gotta book it so i get home in time <music> Gotta put them away. <laughs> I swear. Go grocery shopping. Bag in the crack from all these. Putting it in your car. Bringing it home. Bringing it in the house. And then putting it away is an aerobic workout all in itself. <laughs> all right. Good glad I've been missing it. Just get it done.
hands, we're gonna make that spicy buffalo cauliflower and the yogurt ranch dressing to dip it in. So the very first thing you're gonna have to do is get yourself a head of cauliflower and break it all up into bite-sized pieces so that you can get it into a roasting pan. Then you're going to add a little bit of oil all over it, some salt and pepper, get it all mixed up, and then you're going to put it in your oven at 375. Okay, so after your cauliflower has cooked for about 34, 35, 40 minutes, what you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of butter to your cauliflower in your pan so that it doesn't burn when you do your next step. So you just want to coat your cooked cauliflower with your butter. Oh, it's going to look really good. Whoop. Cauliflower, cauliflower. Okay. I'm going to get them coated all up. This probably would be easier if I did it in a bowl. But, you know, i got to do everything the hard way. And then you're going to take your favorite hot sauce or buffalo, buffalo wing sauce. My love Frank's hot, red hot sauce. So we're going to use this for our buffalo sauce, if you will. And we're going to cover our cauliflower pretty good you know depending on how you like it how spicy how you don't whatever cover them pretty good Ooh, it's a little cauliflower <laughs> and we're just going to coat our cauliflower in your favorite sauce like i said if you don't like hot sauce and you have like a favorite buffalo sauce, like a buffalo wing sauce, I would use that. But we, I personally, I think I could use just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more. Okay. That's my favorite. Ooh, it smells good. I'm excited to try this. Okay. Alright, spread them back out. That's so that they don't stick. The butter is to keep them from sticking now that you have the sauce on them. Okay. I'm going to pick you up and show it to you. Okay, there they are. With the hot sauce on them. Ooh, they smell so good. All right, we're gonna stick them back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes at 375 and let them do their thing and get all good. Yeah, buddy. And while they cook, we're gonna get the dipping sauce made. So in another container, you're gonna take some non-fat Greek yogurt. I get mine from Aldi's. I mean, I get mine from Aldi's. Okay, I'm gonna give it a stir. And I'm probably just going to do because I know I'm not gonna, I'm the only one who's gonna eat this because I'm the only one who likes yogurt. So I'm probably just gonna do like three or four heaping spoonfuls. Okay, that's like plenty for me. Okay, we're gonna put the lid back on. And a packet of ranch seasoning. And I also got this at Aldi's. We're gonna pour that in there. In this way, we have low fat ranch dressing to dip our cauliflower in. 
And the reason why I'm making this before the cauliflower is done is because this stuff always needs time to like set up so it's not like crunchy. Ooh, it smells good. Looks just like ranch dressing, but made with non-fat Greek yogurt. So there's half the calories. Okay. Instead of using sour cream and mayonnaise and all of that stuff. All right. This looks good. Okay. Let me find a lid. I'm going to throw a lid on it and set it aside until our cauliflower is done. Okay. I think this is going to be a super yummy lunch. I'll throw that lid on. Okay. So I have a little bit of the spoon. That's really good. It tastes just like ranch dressing. That is going to be awesome when the cauliflower is done. So we're going to give it like 15, 20 minutes to do its thing. And I think we're going to have a really yummy lunch. It's supposed to mimic buffalo wings. And ranch dressing. Alright guys, let's get it out of the oven and see how old it smells. Ooh, how they turn out. Oh, I see why you had to put butter in there because they do, they get... Look. Oh, they smell so good. They smell so good. these bad boys. I'm very excited to try this. Oh, well, they didn't stick. So that was good. Okay. They smell like hot wings. We have a little bit of our homemade ranch. Yogurt Ranch. Alrighty. I know it's going to be super hot, but we're going to do it. You ready? A little bit of our ranch in there. Looks just like it, don't it? It looks so good. Oh yeah, highly recommend this. If you love hot wings, this is fantastic. Oh, this is good. I'm very happy with this. <laughs> oh, this is a good lunch. Mm-hmm. Two thumbs up on this one. Very good. So I wanted my daughter to try to see what she thought and she just took the pan and the dip and was like mom this is delicious you're not getting it back. Mine now. You like it? Guys I'm telling you this tastes just like buffalo wings and ranch dressing. I can't believe it. Now for my daughter to eat this you know it's got to be good because that's a vegetable. <laughs> really? Is it really that good? You like it? Oh it's awesome. You guys got to try this. Even she's eating it up. All right, guys, for dinner, I'm going to be getting a cheesy chicken skillet on. So I got my cast iron skillet preheating. I got my butternut squash all peeled. Woo! It's hard to show you guys. All peeled and ready to go. So this is a cheesy chicken skillet with butternut squash. It is so delicious and perfect for fall. So let me get it going on. Alright, I 
added the ground chicken. I'm going to add some beer can chicken seasoning to the ground chicken and let it cook up. And then the last step will be to add a whole bunch of cheese. And this will be delicious. Now that the chicken is all cooked, we're going to go ahead and add a good handful of Parmesan cheese and a little bit of cheddar. We'll let it all melt and that's our cheesy chicken skillet with butternut squash. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Alright guys. There it be. Doesn't that look yummy? Get yourself some nice spoonfuls. And that is dinner. One skillet wonder. Yummo. Good stuff, guys. So, I'm going to show you my way in for this month. And I just want to share with you guys that according to the last way in, which I'll stick a clip right here. Okay, and then today's weigh in. Hello. It's ready. So according to the last way in I showed you and this way in I lost like a almost like a little over a pound and a half. But what you don't know <laughs> is that I did weigh myself in between on the last way in in this and I was up to 492.6 and I want to share this with you because I think this is very important. I did talk about this in another video. Um, it was like, don't let your period derail you because this stuff does happen. So what happens with me typically is right before shark week, your period, I will put on weight and sometimes it's very frustrating because it's like, now I know I've been eating right, but see, it's not weight, weight, it's water weight because you're getting ready to go into a, like a hormonal change type thing. So that put almost four and a half, five pounds on me. And then I starting shark week, starting like right now, I weighed myself this morning cause I'm, um, it's about time. And not only am I down all of that, but plus a pound from the last time I weighed in, which is about right. So according from that weight loss to that way into this way in rather, it's like a pound and a half, a little over a pound and a half weight loss. But according to a week and a half ago when I weighed myself and was at, um, you know, four, over 400 pounds, it's really five pound weight loss. But I know it's not pounds. It's not real weight. The one pound is real weight. The five is water weight. But I just want to encourage you that if you experience these fluctuations, these like extreme highs and lows, um, especially around your period of time or if, you know, right around then, don't freak out. Don't like get crazy with yourself and think that you're doing stuff wrong. More than likely it has to do with your period and, you know, bloat and water weight and things like that. It's probably not real weight, you know, real pounds. It's water weight. And it's like, soon as your body starts its period it like not only is it shedding but it like it sheds all the excess too 
So at least it's been in my case and I've learned to not freak out because I used to freak out. Like when I would go to the gym and like work out, work out and like barely eat anything and then go and weigh myself and I weighed five pounds more. <laughs> it would like, I would cry, it would derail me, but I've learned that this is kind of what my body does around this time. So like I said, it's about a pound and a half, a little more than a pound and a half weight loss. That's great. I'll take it. Um, according to what I weighed like a week and a half, two weeks ago, it's a little over five pounds. So, but I know it's not real weight. It's just water weight. So I'm just going to count the like pound and a half that I lost. So that's great. I know sometimes it feels crazy because it's like, you know, boy, I would really like to have had the five. Well, if you add that pound to it, it'd be like a six pound weight loss. I would love to lose six pounds, you know, but sometimes that's realistic. Sometimes it's not too realistic. So we'll just stick with the pound and a half. I hope that, I hope my ramblings made sense, but I just want to encourage you not to get crazy when, you know, you see the scale jump up and you're like, what? <laughs> I've been doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. What the heck is this? It's probably that time and your body holds, but when it starts to shed, it sheds other stuff as well. So be patient with your body. Don't get, don't get mad at it. It will eventually level out and do what it's supposed to do. <laughs> so I'm happy. Um, we'll, we'll take that little bit of a pound and a little more than a pound and a half weight loss. So yeah. <laughs>